Hello guys, welcome back to my channel The Fulfillment. I am a Sigibul. Today I am going to focus on the important questions and also the important explanations on the sonnet that is the sonnet number 75 of Amoretri by Edmund Spencer. What is the sonnet? One day I wrote her name. The students will be benefited if they watch the full video because I will discuss on the most important questions that may be framed for the end semester exams. So my dear students, I request you, don't skip the video, please watch the full video and those students who have come for the first time in my channel, I request them. Please, please subscribe this channel, The Fulfillment. Now let's go to know what are the important questions. But before discussing on the important questions, I request all my dear students to watch another video on one day I wrote her name that I have already uploaded in this channel. You know, one day I wrote her name upon the strand is a beautiful sonnet. This is taken from Amoretti. What is Amoretti? Amoretti is a sonnet sequence. It is a sonnet sequence of 88 love sonnets and it is composed by Edmund Spencer. You know that one day I wrote her name is a poem basically which deals with the fulfillment of love, which deals with the love that is actual, with the love that is real. Okay? But the central theme of the poem is immortalization of the rare virtues and love of the poet and his beloved. So, after going through the text, after knowing all the important explanations, after knowing its style, its rhyming pattern, now the students have to know the most important questions because they are taking preparation for the end semester exams. Okay. So, first of all, I ask the students to take preparation to answer the question, write a critical appreciation on one day I wrote her name upon the strand by Edmund Spencer. You know how to write a critical appreciation? I have uploaded a video on how to write a critical appreciation of any poem. So my dear students, you were asked to watch that video also. To write the answer of the critical appreciation, don't think too much. Just what you know, write it in your answer. That is its background, its theme, central idea, analysis, its style, its rhyming pattern, what is the unique quality of Edmund Spencer. If you assemble all these chronologically, one by one and if you complete the answer by proper way of arrangements, I think your answer will be appropriate. Okay. Sometimes this question may be said as critically examine one day I wrote her name as a characteristic Spaniardian sonnet. The answer is also the same. Characteristic Spaniardian sonnet that is the unique quality of Edmund Spencer as a sonator, which is reflected in this poem. Okay. Next question, important question is that, would you describe one day I wrote her name upon the strand as a dramatic poem? Or write the dramatic element in the sonnet, one day I wrote her name upon the strand. Or show how the themes of love and immortality are dramatically presented 
in the poem, one day I wrote her name upon the stone. If you want to write the answer of this question, you should have to write the theme, how the theme is presented dramatically. That is argument and counter argument of the lover and the beloved and how logically the poet proceeds towards the conclusion of the poem. So, in this way, you have to answer this question, okay? Next important question I suggest you, examine Spencer as a love poet with reference to the sonnet, one day I wrote her name upon the strum or in what way may Spencer be treated as a poet of love? Discuss with reference to the sonnet, one day I wrote her name. So here in this poem, what type of love? That is a successful love, that is a real love. And the love is developed through the argument and counter argument. The idea has been developed through the argument and counter argument that is dramatically this love is immortalized in what way that the poet says he will immortalize through poetry that is poetry is the defier of time and death okay and by writing poetry their love will be renewed okay so in such way you will write the answer of this question and the last question I suggest you Spencer as a sonnet with reference to the sonnet one day I know Tandem already I have discussed on this because when you will answer to this question you will have to write all the points that reflect Spencer as a great sonnet okay so I think if you take preparation for end semester exam of your university, you should take preparation on these questions. And these questions are essay type questions or the questions of 15 marks or 10 marks. Now I will go to focus on the most important explanatory notes or explanations. These are the questions of five marks. Look at the whiteboard. First explanation, vain man said she that diest in vain essay. Here the beloved is speaking to the poet lover that you are a proud man and you are trying to immortalize a mortal thing. That is, this attempt is very futile, okay? So, in such way, you should write the explanation. And I have already focused in my previous video. Second explanation, not so could I let baser things devise. Do is, that means divide. The poet lover says that his or their love is not a matter of inferior quality. Their love is of divine quality. So, this is not baser thing. It is like gold that will glitter forever and in such way it will be immortalized. It will not be decayed or die. Okay. So their love or their virtues are of divine qualities. So in such way, you will write the explanation on this line. Not so could I let baser things devise. The last important explanation. Fire when as death shall all the world subdue. Our love shall live and later life renew. Here, the bold lover, that is the poet lover, says 
to his beloved that all the earthly existence is the victim of death. All things of the world will be removed, will be vanished, will be destroyed. Only their love will remain forever. In what way? He says that he will immortalize their love and their virtues in his poetry and through poetry the rare virtues of the beloved and also the love will be immortalized. When the next generation will read the poem, they will be able to know their love affairs, the rare virtues of the beloved and in such way their love will be renewed. So my dear students, in such way you will take preparation to write the explanations on these three most important explanations. One, two, three. So these are the questions and explanations which are important for the end semester exams of your universities. So my dear students, if you enjoy today's video, please like it, share with your friends and those who have come for the first time, please, please subscribe this channel, The Fulfillment. All the best for you. Thanks a lot.